Hey YouTube, this is Lightworks Tutorial with another video on how to edit in Lightworks. In this video we're going to be showing you how to add simple transitions and of course um, make effects on the video that you've got. So right now we've got two videos. Uh, this is the one that I've imported just then and this is the old one from before. From the last video, so right now we're gonna. Sh I'm gonna show you how to make these two videos blend in together as if they were one. Just zoom in on them. As you can see, there's a cut right there. So now, to make simple transitions, we will just have to go to down the bottom of the timeline. You see a effects button, so you might as well just click that. And of course there's other ways, I'll just show you one more way. So another way is just to right click on the video under the subtitle effects, click on add and mixes. And th there will be all of the uh, effects right there and the transitions. But now we're just going to go click on effects. And it, and it should come up with a dialog box that says add effects category and blend dissolve and etc. So right now I'm just going to show you two of the main effects. Of course uh, there are two main effects usually used in video editing. One is the uh, transition between two videos. Uh, I'm going to show you that first and of course the other one is the effect on the actual video. So if for example you want to make the video lightened or, or like darkened you can easily click on that but however we're just going to do some simple transitions so now to do that we will just go click on dissolve as you can see dissolve is a simple one of course there's other ones as well such as luma wipe mask blend push squeeze and wipe but I'll just let you experiment with that for now now you got to make as you can see there's that red line you've got to make that red line uh, so that it'll as you can see I'm just pressing the arrow keys on your keyboard it will move one frame up uh, as you can see however we just want the actual effect on the first frame of the second video that you want so Okay, so now we're on the first frame. So now we're just going to click on dissolve and click on add. And it should come up with a light blue effect on the timeline. So now if we if we're going to play from that. As you can see, it um, dissolves quickly from one video to the other. So now let's just leave that for now and another one that I'm going to show you is how to make the video look like it's been darkened or lightened for example as you can see this video here is lightened and this video so this video here is darkish viewers can't really see what you're doing in that video but however this video is it has more light to it so simply if you want to make this video darken so you're going to click on blend and sh it should come up with another dialog box that says effects edit one so edit one is just the the um, name of your edit as you can see there so the method is usually what you're going to find is the most most attractive on the on this dialog box so you're just going to go follow, click on in front. As you can see, it will come up with 17 lots of different effects that you can use. So I'll just let you play around with them, but I'll show you one of them. Darken is just to make the, the um, whole screen blank or black. Luminosity, however, it makes the, um, the, the video look like it's black and white, as you can see. It's these these effects are really really good if you're making some type of video 
uh, for YouTube or, or any or anything like that. So if we're just going to play that now, as you can see, the uh, dissolve comes comes along really nicely with the um, black and white video. Okay, let's add another effect. Let's add average. Now this is uh, this is what I've been trying to tell you guys. If you get, want to lighten the video, simply just add an of average or darken. Well, not really darken because that leaves the screen blank. But average is a really good effect if you want to darken your video, as you can see right there. Now, now I'll show you the difference. So just click on that green button. Green button is to turn the effect on and off, as you can see. So as you can see, you can see the difference as it is darkened. So if we're going to play that, just one little, uh, just quickly. So now, so that comes along really nicely. Another effect that I want to show you is... Uh, if you if you would go back to your add effects dialog box and go to vid net and crop. Now, if you don't want the whole entire video to be darkened, but you just want the sides of the video to be darkened, so around the sides, so it makes like that. Uh, how how should I put it? Like this tun uh, this tunnel effect. You would simply go to this category here and you choose from the uh, effects here if I will just turn that off you would choose from the effects here as to where where you want the dark sides of um, of the effect to be so if we go top and bottom fade add that as you can see the video now has Darkish, uh, darkish bars across the top and the bottom. So if we would play that, as it um, it like represents that uh, gloomy and and darkish, scary um, t feeling to the viewers. There's also this vid uh, this effect. If we just add that. This is the uh, tunnel effect that I was talking about. As you can see, the there's black um, light bars across across the um, the sides of the video, but the um, the middle of the video has doesn't really have that that dark um, feeling to it. So if we would play that. Now that comes along really nicely. But that's all I'm going to be te teaching you today guys. So hope you do enjoy this video. Please leave a like. Subscribe. Share with your friends if they're having trouble with Lightworks. Uh, next, next video I'm going to be showing you how to uh, work with audio. How to mute un unwanted audio. As well as cutting and trimming and editing with audio. But thanks a lot guys for watching, see you soon.